Here we are, it's a grand piano. It's actually one of the hardest instruments to sound correctly in recording and in live sound. There's so many factors that are going on with a piano, you know, from the hammer hits on the strings to the resonation of the further parts of the instrument itself. It's really a super difficult instrument to capture even in the recording setting. Most recording settings were able to move microphones back away from an open lid situation and therefore kind of capture the whole instrument as you would as if you were standing next to it. It's all about close micing and live sound and here's why. There's all this ambience on stage, other people playing, maybe it happens to be next to the drum kit like this is right now. And if you were putting microphones with an open lid on the piano, you would have all of that information involved with also the piano, and it kind of would wash out your mix. So unfortunately, in live sound, we have to do things where we lower the lid all the way down and keep it closed. So how do we do mics in a piano with the lid closed and still kind of achieve you know, the best sounding piano that we can get? There's a bunch of different ways. There are some pianos that have contact pickups, this piano in particular has one. The contact pickup is actually kind of down underneath. You can't actually physically see it. I wish we could show you where it is, but it's underneath where kind of the hammering section of the piano is. And so that's where it's getting its information from. What I'd like to do is have Ian here, our pianist, play a little bit to where you can just hear the contact pickup by itself. That's often a place to go ahead and use because sometimes contact pickups sound wonderful by themselves. But let's try that. Let's hear the contact pickup. Ian, play just a little bit for us. Thanks. Thanks very much. A lot of my companies are getting really smart about the fact that in live sound, we have to have the lid closed if we're using mics. So what they've done is they've designed a bunch of mounts and uh, there are a few companies that have these piano mounts and all they are are magnets and they just attach right onto the rail there of the uh, instrument itself. And you can kind of get an idea of where I start as a placement for these microphones. So I'm trying to capture the high end of the piano with this microphone phone, maybe get a little bit of the hammer noise because that's part of how a piano sounds. And then with this other microphone, the low microphone captured the low end part of it. So now let's go ahead and close the lid. One more thing as we do that, you'll notice that in the stick part of a piano, there's this quarter stick, right? So you can go to here with it. And if you have to have an open lid, this is better than all the way open in live sound. Sticking a couple of mics through the center here and aiming them properly is 50% better than having the, the lid open all the way. But really, I would say 95% of the time in live sound, we have to go all the way down. So we're gonna go down and then close the front part. All right, Ian, would you give us a little bit of that? These are what you're going to hear right now are just those two microphones I placed on the inside there. Go ahead. Beautiful, man. That's really great. These microphone companies that make these microphones that have magnets that attach to the side there are pretty great. But what happens when you don't have those? What happens when you show up to a gig and it's a piano that doesn't have any microphones in it and the only ability that they have is to put a couple of stands in there with the quarter stick, but you still want to close it. I'm gonna try to figure out a way that I'm gonna be able to mic this instrument without the use of stands. So here's what you can do. You can place the tape in between two of these spots. Like that. And 
I'm going to kind of place it in the same area over here. What we're going to do is use two Omni microphones. These are the Earthworks M50 microphones. Generally, people use them as measurement microphones, but their polar pattern is Omni, which kind of might be cool inside of a piano. It might capture all of the things within it. It might capture some of the reflectiveness of the top of this, but it may end up actually being a pretty great sound. Let's try that. Here's what happens. We float the microphone on here with another piece of tape. Now remember, it's an Omni microphone, so it's gonna capture anything around its whole front, including the back part of it. So even though it looks like it's aimed forward at some hammers here, it's gonna capture basically this whole part of the piano. We're gonna put this microphone over here, do the same thing, get it to float a little bit here on your tape you've already placed and take the cable. Let's see if we have enough room to get at it. And we're gonna plug this one in. Cool, and so now both of these, you can see, they're both kind of sitting here floating. They're not touching anything. You don't want any sort of mechanical noise. You don't want them to be, you know, rubbing up against any part of this. All right, so now let's close this up. So now let's just listen to those two microphones. Ian? Another tool in this is to simply use a boundary microphone on the very lid of the piano. The piano then acting as completely a boundary and picking up the entire piano by placing this microphone up there. This is also a quick and dirty method. If you show up, they don't have any microphones for the piano. You can use this good old Shure SM91. And basically what we do is we tape it to the center of the lid and then uh, we'll have a listen to that. Gaffer tape is really super fine tape that doesn't leave any sort of residue on things. So make sure that you're not using duct tape on a very nice piano lid. You wanna use some gaff tape, which does not leave any residue. In live sound, a lot of times we just use whatever tools that we have <laughs> in order to get a good result. This is often a very simple way when someone says, oh, we're doing a piano today and we don't have any stands for it. Oh, okay, well, let me, let me do this. I've used this many, many times. So we kind of put this straight in the middle of the lid, use some good quality tape to make sure the microphone doesn't fall into this very nice piano. The cardioid pickup pattern of this is with the capsule pointed forward and then creating this kind of cardioid pickup pattern. You'll see I have the microphone kind of pointed towards the hammers in the front part of the piano. Let me just tape this just a little more so we don't have any anything going on where it falls. And so then this ends up obviously being just a mono channel. Now, if you're lucky enough, to have a contact pickup within the piano, the contact pickup and this together is often a really, really great sound. But at first, let's listen to this by itself, and then we're gonna listen to a separate section with the contact pickup and that, all right? So let's check this out. Put the lid back down. All right, so this is just that microphone that we taped to the lid.
So now let's listen to that same thing, same microphone in the center, but we're going to combine the contact pickup along with that and see if we end up with something that's great. Go ahead one more time. That's great, man. Nice. Great playing. Thank you. What I also want to kind of show with the lid closed right now is just how much that lid being closed keeps other surrounding ambient noise away from here. So I'm going to clap. We're going to turn off all the other microphones. We're only going to listen to this microphone that's in under the lid, and I'll show you how much closing the lid is preventing ambience from getting in. Cool. Let's do that one more time just to show you if this piano lid was open all the way, what that would sound like. Hey, here's all the ambience. Obviously, keeping the lid closed is your best option. And these were some examples that you can use to try to get the best piano sound that you can get with the lid closed.